Disney Bambi the Wonderful Winter Tree. Bambi woke up one morning to find that the whole world was covered in a soft white blanket. What is it, mother? Bambi asked, as he gazed around. This is snow, his mother told him. It means winter is upon us. Snow, said Bambi. He took a cautious step, and then another, and another. He felt the icy crystals crunch beneath his hooves. When he glanced back over his shoulder, he could see a set of tiny tracks. I like snow, Bambi said, looking at the pattern his hooves had made. Snow is pretty to look at, his mother told him, but it makes winter hard for all the animals. Bambi was about to ask her why winter was harder than other seasons, when his friend Thumper came hopping over. Hiya, Bambi, said the bunny. Come on, let's go sliding. He led Bambi to the pond, which was frozen. Solid. Thumper slapped at the ice with his foot. Come on, it's all right, he told Bambi. Bambi spotted Flower the skunk. You want to come sliding, Bambi called running over. Thumper says the water's stiff. Flower shook his head. No thanks. I'm off to my den. I'm going to sleep through the winter, he yawned. Goodbye, Bambi, he said. Bye, Flower, said Bambi. Then he spied another friend, a squirrel, scurrying up an oak tree. The pond is stiff, squirrel, called Bambi. Want to come sliding with me? Thanks, replied the squirrel, but I have to store nuts for the long winter. He showed Bambi the pile he had already collected. No sliding for me today. All these other animals seemed to be taking winter very seriously, so Bambi went back to Thumper and the frozen pond by himself. Wee! Thumper was sliding across the ice with some of his sisters, but when Bambi stepped on the ice, his long legs lost their balance straight away. His hooves slid off in four different directions. Kind of wobbly, aren't you? said Thumper, skating around him. You can do it. Bambi wasn't so sure sliding across the stiff water. You can do it. Bambi wasn't so sure. Sliding across the stiff water wasn't as much fun for a deer as it was for rabbits. His legs were long and he had further to fall. His stomach growled and he realised all this running about in the snow had made him hungry. He said goodbye to the bunnies and went back to find his mother. Mother, I'm hungry, Bambi told her. In the spring, summer and autumn, they had been able to find food almost anywhere they looked. Now that it was winter, Bambi could see that finding food wasn't so easy. There were no leaves on the trees, and the grass was covered with snow and ice. His mother was right. This beautiful blanket of snow hid the rest of the world from sight, and nothing could grow. For the first time he noticed how cold he was, and how his... For the first time he noticed how cold he was, and his whole body shivered. No wonder Flower had gone back to his den. Come, quick, Bambi's mother called to him. She'd uncovered a small patch of grass, and Bambi nibbled it eagerly. At last, with his tummy almost full, Bambi could curl up with his mother for a nap. The ground was hard and cold, and the wind was chilly. Bambi was grateful to have his mother there to keep him warm. Is this why the birds fly south, and why our other friends sleep through the winter? Bambi asked her. His mother nodded and snuggled even closer. Don't worry, Bambi, she told him. Winter doesn't last forever. By the end of December, there was nothing left in the forest for Bambi to eat but bitter bark. The days grew short and the nights grew long, and throughout them, Bambi's stomach rumbled. And one day, something truly amazing happened. Thumper was the first to see it. Hey, Bambi, he called. Would you look at that tree? Bambi followed the direction of Thumper's paw. He could not believe his eyes. There before them was a tall pine tree unlike any Bambi had ever seen. 
It was draped with strings of bright berries and yummy popcorn. From the end of each branch hung a ripe, juicy apple. Bambi thought that the most wonderful thing of all was the shiny gold star at the very top. Mother, exclaimed Bambi, look at what Thumper found. Slowly and cautiously, his mother drew closer. It can't be, she whispered. It seems almost too good to be true. What is it, mother? Bambi asked. The most beautiful tree in the world, she answered, circling it. She smiled down at Bambi, her eyes brimming with happiness. What a special gift to have on your first Christmas. Who left it, mother? Bambi asked. He'd never seen anything like this before. I don't know, she replied. Maybe someone who loves animals, Thumper said, hopping up and down. This is the best gift ever. He took a big sniff of one of the apples hanging low to the ground and wiggled his little white tail with pleasure. Can we share this food with every one of our friends, mother? Bambi asked. I don't see why not, Bambi's mother said. Christmas is a time to share what we have with those we love. Bambi looked up at the golden star at the top of the tree. Then he glanced at the sky. The sun was just beginning to go down. He knew that very soon there would be a star twinkling in the sky, just like the one at the top of the tree. He danced back over to his mother and took a big bite out of one of the juicy green apples. Mmm, he thought. Nothing had ever tasted so good. Blazing up at the star and at the beautiful winter tree, Bambi could feel a happy warm glow swelling inside him. There was enough food on the tree to feed all the animals who were hungry. What a magical gift, thought Bambi. Winter was long and hard, and yet it could be wonderful after all.